your attention to a very familiar passage, a very familiar passage. Hebrews chapter number 11, verse 1. I know if somebody can say it by heart, it is a very familiar verse, very familiar verse. Anybody? Anybody? Go ahead, uncle. Yes. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes, faith is the substance and assurance. assurance. I hope you all know that verse and we probably heard many sermons from that passage because it's a very common passage pastors used to preach from. Faith is a term that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. We have faith in our family. We have faith in our friends. We have faith in our co-workers. And these are humanly related faith that we establish with our coexisting people. And we also do have faith in equipment. We also do have faith in material things. We have faith in our finances that we know that it is stable. And if any urgency arise, we will go and meet our needs. We have faith in our vehicles that we drove about 10 hours from Portland to here. We trust our car so much to bring us here safely because it is a faith that we had in that equipment. From Dallas, we drove about 32 hours over two days reached Portland and we trusted the car that we drive in because we live in our car majority of the time for hours and hours of road trips we drive and we use it for commute. We have faith in different aspects of our life, different aspects of our life. And we know that when we walk on this earth, we do not look down and make sure that the earth is not slipping away from our feet. We just walk because we know that the next step will be held up by the earth that is before us. We do not worry about anything in this life because we have faith in one way or the other in the society, in the community, in the friendship that we have, in the family that we have. But we seldom fail God and trust in God. We seldom trust in God. Oftentimes we replace our trust in God with our finance, with our friendship, with our relationship, with all the abilities that we have. And today God is calling us back to have a faith in Christ this morning. Stotra. We lived in Parsonage. And especially the place that they had this, uh, uh, this cal natural calamity, why not? My father was pastoring there. We lived in the acres of coffee plantation and just a small hut-like house. That is our church. That is our personage. And we divided that room. One side is church. And this side is personage. And there we have our kitchen. There we, this, this, this side we have our bedroom. We lived in that places. We experienced poverty. We experienced lack of clothing. We experienced all these things. But the house that we lived in had a name. It's called Faith Home. It's called Faith Home. I did not understand what that means as a kid. I have no clue what does that mean to call it as a faith home. Because we have no food for tomorrow. We have nothing to wear from keep us away from hold. But I know something that we live as a faithful servant of God from day to day. Faith in God. Faith in God. Faith in God. It's an easy thing to call, which used to be a mockery name for believers in the past. When someone goes to a prayer meeting, people who sit in the, sit in the junction look at them and say, There goes a believer going for prayer. Let me tell you this morning, that faith which we had in our life that gave us salvation. Let me tell you anything and everything, every single blessing that you experience today, it is because of the faith in Christ and faith in Christ alone. 
faith in Christ alone. Do not think that my ability gained all this. Do not think that my skills have brought me thus far. It is the faith in Christ and faith in Christ alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This would be a series for next few weeks. And I wanted to bring the very first point to you. What does faith do to us? What does faith do to us? Number one, faith brings assurance. Faith brings assurance. Vishwasam urappu gundu verunnu. Urappa stotra. Faith brings assurance. We know a man who is known as the father of believers, right? Abraham. A man who trusted God so blindly. God called Abraham and said, Abraham, leave your land, leave your people and go to a place that I wanted to show you. And Abraham blindly believed God and set on his journey. Abraham did. And after a few years, God visited him. Abraham in chapter number 15, Genesis. And God said, Abraham, I am your reward and your shield. And I will give you generations. And Abraham believed God. Believed God. And after in between, when the God promised that you will have a generation. After so many years, Abraham decided in his mind, nothing is going to happen. For a moment he swayed. For a moment he doubted. And Abraham gave birth. Or Abraham became the reason for Ishmael who came into this world. And in Genesis chapter number 18, God came down. God came down. And God came down and visited Abraham and his family personally and said, Next time I will come and visit you. And that particular time, Sarah shall give you a son. And Sarah will give birth to a son. Let me tell you this morning, if you have the promise of God, if you are ready to listen to God, if you are willing to yield to God over and over again, Spirit of God is telling you the faith in God will give you assurance this morning the faith in God will bring forth faith in Christ this morning and after God said this message Sarah laughed Sarah laughed and God asked a question is there anything impossible for God I don't know what it is but that question was ringing in my ear as I was meditating this passage, and it is a message for someone who is listening to me this morning. God is asking you very personally. I know you are in the face of challenge. I know you are going through hurdles. I know you are going through challenges. But God is asking that question this morning. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is there anything too hard for my God this morning? And in the book of Romans, Apostle Paul is writing about Abraham. Paul is writing, on contrary to hope, Abraham believed God and it counted to him as righteousness. And in Hebrews we read, even though as Isaac was about to be sacrificed, Abraham received him as a person back from dead. Marana tilnin tirichu prabichavane pole isahakine tiriga prabichu. Why Abraham is known as a father of believers? I will give you four reasons. Number one, Abraham, book of Romans says, Abraham knows what he is. Abraham has written verdict. Abraham, you will have no son because your time has gone. Your time has gone. Even when God was talking to Abraham, Abraham said, oh, I am about 99 years old. Sarah is about 90 years old. And will it be possible that is the written conviction that he had in his mind? And God is asking that question again. Is there anything too uh, impossible for the Lord? Is there anything impossible for the Lord? One, he had given instructions in his head. It will not be possible. 
it will not be possible. Number two, look at Abraham, 99 year old man, 99 year old man. Look at Sarah, 90 year old woman. And in the history, it never happened before. In the history, it was challenging. And it never happened in the history of mankind from Adam till now. And God is saying to Abraham, nothing is impossible with those who believe. And nothing had happened so far. And Abraham is saying, God, I know I am weak. Book of Romans is writing very clearly. Chapter number 4, verse 17 onwards. Even though he understood the weaknesses of himself and the weakened, uh, weakened uterus of Sarah, he believed on contrary to what is the fact. Let me tell you this morning, regardless of the fact you have before your eyes, Allow God to minister to you this morning. Allow God to work in your life this morning. And God is asking that question, yes, is there anything impossible for God? Is there anything impossible for God? World may fail, medical science may fail, situations may fail, friendship may fail, families may fail. But I can assure you one thing, faith will bring assurance. Faith will bring assurance. This morning God is affirming you that, yes, the faith in God. God will bring you success. Faith brings assurance. Faith brings assurance. When Sarah laughed, Abraham questioned, other thing that happened. What is the other thing that happened? Sarah and Abraham is questioning or reasoning with God. Over 25 years, the promise is there. Nothing has happened so far. I am getting old. My wife is getting old. And we are no longer young couples. We don't have the strength anymore. We don't have the ability anymore. We don't have us what it takes from human side anymore. But let me tell you this morning, when God decides to intervene in your life, if you allow him to work completely, God is asking that question this morning. Yes, nothing is impossible to God. Nothing is impossible to God. Nothing is impossible to my master. Anything is possible if you believe. Have faith in my God this morning. Abraham is asking, God, it is too old. I am too old. My wife is too old. Situations are not favorable. What are the things that I should do? Only thing Abraham was asked to do is have faith in my master. Have faith in my master. When God asked Abraham to sacrifice, questions could come, right? Promised son, waited about 25 years. God came down personally and said, next year you will have a son. And God promised me my generation will be as numerous as the stars in the sky. And God promised me that my generations will be as the sand in the seashore. And God's promises are there. And why are you asking me to sacrifice my son? Why are you asking me to sacrifice my children? The question should normally arise. You know what happened? Abraham did exactly what the Lord told them. On the day they saw Mount Moriah, Abraham said, this is the word that he said, exactly the word. He told the servants, you stay here with the donkeys. Me and my son, listen to this, me and my son, we will go up to the mountain, we will offer sacrifice, and we will come back. Uh-huh. We will come back. 
it's not just the sake that God called him the father of Abraham as they are climbing the mountain Isaac asked a question father we have fire we have the wood we have the knife but we are missing one thing we do not have the lamb that needs to be sacrificed a father with a broken heart a father received the promise after so many years looked unto his son and said Jehovah Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, my God shall supply. Sharadana, Rikamana, Sandaradana. Hallelujah. Look at the words of Abraham. We will come back. We will come back. Abraham, question for you. Don't you know that you're going to sacrifice the son? Wasn't my God very clear that you will sacrifice the son on Mount Moriah? And you know that how sacrifice will take place and this son will be a handful of ashes in few moments. Abraham, didn't you know all these things? Yes, I did. But I know one thing. My God is all that I need. My God is all that I need. This morning, let me tell you, and I am prophesying to some people, yes, God is Jehovah Jireh. God is Jehovah Jireh. In the face of impossibilities, in the face of uncertainties, in the face of questions, my God is Jehovah Jireh. My God is Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. 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 That was the first declaration. First declaration. You and the donkey stay here. We will come back. We will come back. Second declaration. My son, don't worry. Don't worry. I know a God who is a promise keeper. I know a God who is faithful even when we fail. I know a God who is able to do great things regardless of our weaknesses. I know a God who is able to do miracles in the dead state of your physical state. I know a God who I am preaching today. I experienced in my personal realm and I can say Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. Stotram. Stotram. Faith brings assurance. Faith brings assurance. And writer of Hebrews is saying, Abraham tied up his son. And he did everything as he's supposed to do. And he took the knife. And he is about to slit his son into pieces. And God called him, Abraham, Abraham, do not touch your son. And he saw the, 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 the lamb that was uh, covered in between in, in behind the bushes let me tell you this morning if you have faith in God if you have trust in God some miracle is going to take place some healing is happening right now I know I am prophesying to someone spirit of God is moving in my heart so powerfully there is healing happening right now there is deliverance happening right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let it happen. Hallelujah. 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 Faith brings assurance. Vishwasam. Let me tell you this morning, when you challenged with questions, when you faced with uncertainties, when your physical realm says impossible, when your skills and all are becoming a failure, have faith in God and see the hand of God moving for you. Hallelujah. This is a journey of faith, right? It's not something that we see and go after. It is a journey that we started by faith. And this journey will continue till the end of our life by faith. My righteous shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This 
this is a journey that we started by faith and we shall continue this journey regardless of what comes in our way glory to the lamb of god glory to the lamb of god glory to the lamb of god abraham you have questions in your mind right you have doubts in your mind what am i able to do let me tell you abraham you have facts that he knew you know that your body is weak you know you are about 100 years old you know sarah's womb is not able to carry a child anymore but let me tell you abraham beyond the facts that you know i am able to do something something great i am able to do something great beyond what you can know beyond what you think it is going to happen i am able to do something supernatural in your life next thing abraham already confessed he is weak abraham already confessed sarah's womb is not compatible abraham already confessed he, they are advanced in age Abraham already confessed they are waiting for too long for a promise. But there is a very beautiful statement. Apostle Paul is writing to Romans in chapter number 4. Oh, my mind is so thrilled with joy. This is what that verse is. Oh, he was strengthened in faith beyond the weaknesses he had. Avan tande shariratil chini den ayirin nengilum vishwasatil shakti patu. Ha! Vishwasatil shakti patu. Strengthened in faith. Strengthened in faith. Let me tell you this morning, let your faith be strong this morning. Let your faith be strong this morning with a stronger faith you will command with a stronger faith you will conquer with a stronger faith you will occupy with a stronger faith you will be a victor oh hallelujah hallelujah glory 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 with a stronger faith you will conquer you will conquer there will be moments, Danny, money you will face in your life when you don't know what to do. Have faith in God. He will strengthen you. He will uphold you. He will be your friend. Hallelujah! With a stronger faith, we will accomplish. We will, shall we say it together? As a church, we are declaring it this morning to the, to the towers of the enemy, to the what, but to in the enemy that is fighting against us. ELC as a church, we will conquer. ELC as a church, we will be victor. ELC as a church, we will gain. Hallelujah. Paul is writing very powerfully. Strengthened in faith. Strengthened in faith. Physical realm is weak. Emotional realm is weak. No more potential ability in his, in his nature. But his faith strengthened him. Faith strengthened him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your faith strengthen you this morning. In any miracle Jesus did, I wish I had time to elaborate. Jesus said, your faith made you whole. Ah, there is a faith that make you complete. I wish I can elaborate on this. If there is anything that is not complete within you. I don't know if it is your mental realm. I don't know if you think about your skills or abilities, but let me tell you, faith can make you whole. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! There is another thing that Jesus said, faith can heal you completely. Faith can heal you completely. Your faith has saved you. Hallelujah! Regardless of what you're going through, what matters this morning is your faith in my God this morning. Hallelujah! And Abraham believed God beyond his abilities. Number four, Abraham, Abraham fully convinced, fully convinced that what he has promised, he will accomplish. 
പൂർണമായി വിശ്വസിച്ചു നോ ഡൗട്ട് അറ്റ് ഓൾ നോ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ അറ്റ് ഓൾ ഫുള്ളി കൺവിൻസ്ഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഹി വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു അക്കംപ്ലിഷ് വാട്ട് ഹി ഹാസ് പ്രോമിസ്ഡ് ഷാൽ യു shall we close our eyes this morning we have few announcements and we need some time let us all look unto god first thing that faith brings into our life it gives us affirmation faith brings us affirmation are you experiencing challenges are you questioning what the doctors are saying are you looking into your education and say Oh, how will I be able to accomplish this? I know you will have moments of doubt. You will have moments of challenges. But God is speaking to each and every one of us. Have faith in my God this morning. Regardless of the facts that you know. Regardless of the physical condition that you are in. Regardless of the weaknesses that you carry. Always we should remember that. my god is able to accomplish my god is able to accomplish shall we praise god for a few moments put our hands together shall we believe what the lord has said we will overcome we will conquer we will be a victor with faith i will be a winner with faith i will climb on the mountains with faith i will be a victor no sickness can hold me down no challenges can defeat me no problems can defeat me shibara daraba sandara daradiyara waithamana ragadana ridana adura janarigal karadiyana oh yes 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 with the faith in god we are conquering this morning we are climbing the mountain this morning we are winner in winning this morning we are on the winning side no enemy can touch us no enemy can destroy us shidara dikara dara bas sandara dara white man arigada na shandal kabara gadagasya arthana aragada na araga shandare vaisha pravdamana adara chara ridana raksha handal kara വൈഡമാന റന്ധരാദിയാന അതുരക്ഷാരക സന്ദരെ അന്തൽ രാജന അറിയാദാനമ സന്ദരാദന അടകമന അറിയതന രക്ഷകൻ അരകൽ കരാദിയാന അധുരിയിരിമനാര അധൂരജന രക്ഷ സന്ദരെ ഓ യെസ് ലോഡ് ഫെയ്ത്ത് ബ്രിങ്സ് അഷുറൻസ് ദിസ് മോർണിംഗ് ഫെയ്ത്ത് ഈസ് മേക്കിംഗ് സം ഓഫ് അസ് ഹോൾ സം ഓഫ് അസ് ഹോൾ some of us perfect i know there are realms that we are experiencing healing i feeling it my spirit i am feeling it in my spirit i know we are experiencing the healing power of god i do not know where that is but i am confident and i feel it in my spirit this morning i know hallelujah our dear uncle in new york will experience the healing hand of god hallelujah i know our dear ones who are weak in their body will experience the touch of god hallelujah 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 glory to the lamb of god faith brings assurance let me close my words this morning if anybody needs prayer would you please rise would you please rise we will pray for you glory to god 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 rigana sandaradana vaidagana radana radana rakshagana hasturadana vaida pravdagana hadarachara hallelujah father we come to you this morning father we bless your name father we know we have moments of weaknesses we have moments of failures father we admit our mistakes this morning father we pray that your faith come into our heart and make us whole this morning hallelujah let the healing power of faith let the delivering power of faith let the overcoming power of faith hallelujah flow through our body this morning as we pray we pray for this people master i don't know their challenges but we pray that your spirit strike at them oh we bada dura dana radana ragadana hasana ragadana handara Oh hallelujah 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 
Father, as they go back to their homes, workplaces, let your faith be with them. Strengthen them to conquer. Make them aware. Hallelujah. We bless them. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God.